Windows Copilot is out on the evaluation version of Windows Server 2025. So I'm going to do some demonstrations of some different things you can and cannot do with Copilot on Windows Server 2025. First off, if you don't see it in the lower right hand corner, just make sure that that's turned on by making sure that box is set to on there. Then go ahead and click on Copilot and you see Copilot is going to open up in the right hand side. Now I have a few, couple of different options. One is to add more creative types of responses. One is more direct type of responses. So if you wanted to ask something specific, you could choose the right side or more creative on the left side. I chose the balanced option uh, just because it's going to give me the best of both worlds. And let's see what happens when I type in a question. One of the biggest questions I had was if you could go ahead and type a command in such, like, such as go ahead and create a user and active directory for me. Will it do it? And unfortunately, no, it will not. It will give me some commandlets I can type in using PowerShell, and it will tell me how to do it using the GUI if I want, but it's not going to do that work for you. So sysadmin jobs, they are still safe from Copilot. So you can go ahead and read through all the different uh, types of responses. It also shows some websites that you can check out, as well as some questions that it recommends that you ask if you would like to know those answers. Now, the next thing I did was I went ahead and did a screenshot of the downloads picture. And I went ahead and pasted that in. I said, what is that? And it rightfully answered that it's an icon of the downloads folder. So that's very impressive that it did analyze exactly what that was. So now I'm going to show you how I did that. This time I'm going to do uh, a snapshot or screenshot of the entire file explorer. So now it's going to analyze it. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer to analyze pictures. So uh, just need to be patient. But when it's done, let's see what it says. Well, it correctly said that's a screenshot of the Explorer settings. So it gives some additional information on what it thinks is going on there and also some additional websites. So that's actually pretty cool that it will take uh, a screenshot and go ahead and tell you that. Now, the other thing I did was I took a picture and I dragged it onto the desktop uh, and I wanted to analyze what it's seen. So I went ahead and resized it because it was a little big. And now I'm clicking on the box to insert a screenshot. So I'm going, going to basically search for that file. And now it's going to analyze what it is it sees. And I said, basically, what are we looking at? And uh, again, it's going to take a little bit of extra time, but there it goes. We're looking at a scene of a house with the moon visible in the sky between two trees. So that is really impressive that that's exactly what it is that it was able to analyze. So it analyzed the uh, screenshot as well as the picture. The next test I did was I created a text file and I created it with a bunch of spelling errors. You can see that there's all types of spelling errors. And now I'm going to see if it can figure out how to properly correct it. So I'm going to the paperclip to add a file. And I'm just going to select that file that I just saved called spelling. It's just spelling.txt. And I'm going to say, hey, fix these spelling errors for me. What's it supposed to say? So please fix spelling errors. And let's see if it does it. And there it is. There are a lot of spelling errors in this document. So it corrected my spelling errors for me. And I can just go ahead and copy and paste that. You can see there's a little copy box that I can use for that. Now I want it to find out what the typical sysadmin looks like. So I have to sign in with my account in order to do that. It basically asks uh, for a school or work account. I went ahead and typed that in, username and password, and now I'm in. So now it's generating what it believes is the typical sysadmin picture. And there it is, an angry guy with a keyboard. I doubt we all look that way, although many of us probably feel that way. So that are that's some demonstrations for you to take a look at for Copilot running on Windows Server 2025. It doesn't seem to be any different than Copilot on the client computer, which is a little bit disappointing, but it does give you an idea that you can use Copilot and it'll give you a lot of good information if you need it.